Well, I'm on the farm today, and uh, my intent is to spray these fields, but I've hit a snag. I've had yet another high pro cast iron pump, cast iron pump go bad. This one went bad. I replaced it with this one last year. I got one year out of this pump. There's another one that went bad. Now I usually get uh, two to three years out of a pump before they just uh, start losing their uh, in other words they don't make pressure as uh, easily as they would have before and sometimes they'll lose their start losing their prime and you know I've cracked them open to put kits on but invariably on these cast iron pumps uh, the inside surface uh, gets rust and it starts to pit and uh, I do my level best to clean these pumps and uh, make sure that uh, whatever's going to make them go bad, the chemicals, the herbicides are out of them. And, uh, you know, I'll put uh, antifreeze in them, like uh, RV antifreeze or something like that in them in the wintertime. But uh, they, don't, they just don't last, and it's simply because they're a cast iron pump. So uh, this one was kind of the final straw. I should have gotten more than... Uh, one year out of the one season out of this one. So what I've done here is I've invoked the cry once rule, which means uh, you pay so much for something that's of quality, it makes you cry. But that's the last time you'll cry. And I bought a High Pro Silver Series XL. And uh, this one's an eight roller pump. These are six roller pumps. And what's special about this pump is, is that uh, it provides the best corrosion protect, it provides the best corrosion resistance. It is ready for use with Roundup. Over 10 times longer life than cast iron models. So, uh, liquid fertilizers, acids, uh, Roundup, and uh, we spray a little Roundup here. That's probably the number one thing that's taken out these pumps. It's very, very corrosive. But uh, the bottom line is we need a pump that will work when we're ready to go because uh, I'm all about uh, coming up here, getting on a tractor, hooking up an implement, and let's get on with the job instead of making a repair. Smart film. Don't know what that means. There's the instructions. Read those later. couple of fittings. Now let me get this out of the bag. So I'm not sure uh, exactly what the Silver Series pump is made of. Uh, it's probably kryptonite. I don't know. They don't tell you what it is. It's just a, a silver cast housings. And uh, but I got a magnet here and as you can see, whatever, I mean, whatever's magnetized, it's, it's probably these bolts, you know, it, it's hard to hold this camera and do this at the same time, but you can see the magnet just falls right off. So uh, maybe this housing is aluminum. It's really heavy, so I'm thinking it's probably stainless steel of some sort. But, you know, if I put that magnet on that pump, I can just about lift, well I can, I can lift the pump up with it. So, cast iron, and I'm guessing that maybe is some kind of uh, stainless steel, but I don't know. It's not silver, it's painted silver, and uh, but like I said, it might be kryptonite. All I know is I'm hoping it lasts a lot longer than these junk pumps do. 
So the other thing I noticed about these uh, pumps, and I had to be sure while I was at the store buying them, is they have a smaller shaft on here than this pump. And so obviously the couplers that I've got won't work. So I bought a a uh, I bought a a, a bigger coupler uh, to go on this thing. So that you know that fits on there pretty good. Uh, one of the differences is this has got a key slot cut in it, and it's got one cut in here. Uh, these old pumps they just have a flat spot that a uh, set screw. Uh, grinds up against and that seems to work fine I had one come loose one time uh, and the pump literally this stayed on the, the tractor PTO and the, the pump fell off but uh, you know uh, this is probably a better arrangement and there's the uh, key that goes in here and mates up with this thing so uh, we'll put this thing together and see what we got I think my little kit right here will fit right on it and the fittings are the same, 7 8. So uh, let me get this thing together and just see what I got. All right, so I got the torque arm on here. I've got the uh, fittings on. And of course, I've got this uh, coupler on. And I'm going to put this thing on the John Deere tractor over there and uh, hook the hoses up and see if I got some pressure. Okay, so I got the sprayer going. I had to replace a couple of fittings, and uh, we've actually had a few raindrops. So it's probably a good thing I didn't uh, get in the field. Uh, so got the John Deere 5055D, the uh, small sprayer that we use. It's got a 20-foot boom, and we're hoping to uh, transform that thing into something with a 200 or 300-gallon tank. So. Uh, a little breezy up here uh, it's gonna be like this tomorrow but I think it's gonna be more sunny skies uh, less chance of uh, less chance of rain and uh, so you know we'll try again tomorrow and uh, hopefully we can get these fields done so that's kind of the video on this uh, replacing the pump on our sprayer over there and uh, so We'll talk to you later.